Hello. So, last week I went to Night of a Million Lights over at Give Kids the World Village in Kissimmee. Give Kids the World, if you don't know anything about it, I'm going to stick a link below. It's an incredible charity that offers the chance to critically or terminally ill children and their families to come to the Central Florida area for a week and experience just a magical, whimsical, storybook-style village. Go to Disney, go to Universal, go to all the local attractions at no cost to themselves. It's an incredible charity. I actually made a video a little while ago in which there's a good 20 minutes dedicated to it where me and my friends actually went and decorated some Christmas trees back in October in preparation for the Night of Million Lights event. So I'm going to link that up there and I highly encourage you just to take a look at that section because this charity is just, it's just wonderful. Anyway, my intention was to make a full vlog from Night of Million Lights, but it ended up not being the case for a few reasons. One, yes, there's a lot of Christmas lights, like a lot, but it's pitch black. So kind of grainy footage that needs denoising is a pain, but more importantly, you get two hour windows at the event, so six till eight, eight till 10 type thing. So I only had two hours. I was with three very important friends to me and I really wanted to experience it and take it all in, especially as we had decorated some trees to be there. So I kind of sacked off the idea of a vlog. What you're about to see is less of a vlog and more of just like a highlight reel that I've put together just to try and convey how wonderful it was to be there, how magical it looked. I mean, it really is the definition of Christmas over there. The volunteers and the staff have done such an incredible job to make it look how it looks. If you're here over the holiday season, I would highly recommend going to the website again link will be below and get yourself a ticket it's such a wonderful festive thing to do and you're donating that money to such an incredible cause give kids the world has a few flagship events every year and it sells tickets to the general public and that money that from ticket sales will go back into the charity anyway i'm at disney springs right now doing something that has absolutely nothing to do with night of a million lights but i figured i should film something to let you know that what you're about to see isn't really a vlog it's just something that hopefully makes you feel Christmassy and hopefully if you are in the area makes you want to go. Anyway, for the first time this holiday, happy holidays everyone, hope you're well and hope you enjoy it. See you soon, bye. You can actually go inside and meet Santa. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but it just looks amazing from the outside. The trees and there's a big snowman and red lights all over the roof. It's, it just looks so amazing and feels so festive. There's a lot of people here, it's not packed, but there's a lot of people here and everyone's smiling and just, it's wonderful.
atmosphere here is just so incredible. Just the feeling of the lights and it's a bit chilly and it's dark and there's hot cocoa around and there's snack trucks and there's little carnival games. People here are with their families. It's just such a wonderful atmosphere and this is like one of their premier events that they run that the public can buy tickets for and obviously the money that's raised from ticket sales will go back into the charity, back into the village. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's houses here from Universal, there's houses here from Disney, there's a SeaWorld house, there's a Hasbro Interactive house, um, but there's, you can't look anywhere without seeing just really, really pretty lights. It's, it's such a, it's, it's wonderful. And if anyone's out here and during the Christmas season and you can get tickets, I highly recommend it. Okay, so this one here is the Disney sponsored house. So half of the village you can walk and then half of the village you take the tram and the detail and the amount of lights and decor they've put into this place is insane and the amount of work that's gone into this since we were here back in October it's just mind-blowing. We're going through the trail of trees now and I'm pretty sure we found our two trees. 